has talked to us about kind of the defensive principles that he wants, mm -hmm. compact group, yep. the block that you guys played with today. What have you kind of seen in impressions of what he wants defensively? Um, I think it's all about us being compact. Um, yeah. I think from front to back, just make, especially teams like LAFC who want to play through the middle, they've got a lot of talented players. And if we congest that, it just makes it a bit more difficult. And I think for, in most parts, we did that well tonight. Um, yeah, I think it, it's, it's, it is a bit of a challenge for us to, to kind of play on the risky side, keep that high line, but it's what he wants to do. And um, I think if we do it the right way and do it consistently, that fun things can happen for us. What was, what, what was just the energy and the atmosphere tonight, first time air coach? Um, I, I think, obviously it's our second game at home and it's, I think the energy is we, I don't know, a bit more anxious because you want, you want him to start off on the right foot. You want, you want to win it for him as opposed to just another game at home that we kind of expect to win with the energy that we have. Um, so, I don't know, it's, the conditions were kind of difficult tonight. It was pretty slippery on the foot, it's a bit of a swirling wind, it's made difficult to judge balls, but, um, yeah, I mean, everyone stuck to the jobs and for the full 90 and I think he made the right changes again to, to kind of keep that energy going. Um, obviously, it's, it's always great when you get a late, late bongi winner to, to get the crowd going for sure. In addition to what uh, Eric Ramsey and the coaching staff gives you defensively, mm -hmm. does Dane St. Clair or do you pull the back line aside and talk about any, anything else specifically? Uh, no, I think the overarching principles have kind of come in about how compact we want to be, how we want to keep squeezing the line, um, not giving them, like, them the space to, to play between us. And I think that, that helps the midfielders because at any point in time when the other team's playing into players in those pockets, those pockets are a lot smaller. They're not trying to cover 20, 30 yards. It's whenever a player gets the ball within our shape, there should be one of us within five or six yards who can kind of step and kind of squeeze it the way to the way that we want to squeeze it. In that close space, talk about your relationship with DJ Taylor and how that's grown over the past few years. Um, I mean, I think especially tonight with um, the player who's going up against who's won it all in this league, I feel like, in, in a short time here, I think DJ almost turned him into a non-factor. I thought he was, DJ was excellent tonight, everything on the front foot. Um, I think that's a byproduct of how compact we are. Everyone's kind of knowing when to step and where to step and our responsibilities. So, um, yeah, great job by the coaching staff. And I think the DJ to execute as well as he did tonight was, was excellent. What did you think of, of Devin and his first start? Obviously, he played a mm -hmm. number of games for you. Yeah, yeah. First start, big moment. <coughs> Wanda, yeah, I think at home, in front of friends and family, mm -hmm. against a big team. Um, yeah, stoked for him to to get the three points clean sheet. Um, obviously, he's a young player. He's got so many strengths, and obviously, he's, he's only going to grow better and better into that uh, position. I think I can't remember too many times where he, he kind of put it for wrong. I think I think overall, every, all of us kind of can be cleaner on the ball. Um, Obviously, we've only had four sessions with Eric, and I think most of those were kind of defensive principles. So, yeah, I kind of think that, yeah, the last few games, we haven't, haven't been great with the ball, but we're sitting on a decent amount of points and um, hungry, to, hungry to keep improving and know we've got quite a few areas that we can get better in. So you said you had four sessions with Eric and defense was the primary focus? Yeah, like, okay. yeah, probably three out of the four. And then um, kind of really on Friday, kind of touched on with the ball. Um, Obviously, he saw the saw the first few games, and obviously we've got quality players who make good decisions when they're with the ball in the right areas. Obviously, Robin's always fantastic, um, and we can bring on Reynoso at the 60-minute mark. That's that's pretty handy too. So, um, yeah, we, we've got intelligent players who, who know what to do in those moments, and I think with time we'll we'll get better. What did you see about? So much of the first three games with the guy press is kind of right out of the game, mm -hmm. bringing it. This time it wasn't so much that at the start. It was kind of the um, mindset of that. I think because because we are trying to stay so compact that we don't leave. Uh, no. So we've brought back the midfield line and, and Kruki's line. I thought, thought there was times where we could have kind of been on taking the initiative a bit more and gotten after them, but. Um, we, we trust Puki in those spots to kind of initiate the press. Um, but it is a bit difficult when we are more compact that he's further away from, from their back line when they have the ball. And 
Um, I think it worked out okay. I don't think they, they punished us. And I think the most important thing was not allowing them to play through us, which I thought we did a good job of that tonight. What was your what was your impression of how Eric kind of handled things pre-game, mm -hmm. game post-game? What about his style on game day? Um, I mean, it's good. He's, I thought we, for the whole week, kind of, I mean, it's tough to do what most coaches would do in, in six weeks and four days. So, um, yeah, ticked off the basics and I think obviously similar principles to Cam, but a different way of applying them. So it's, I think it's, it's fun to learn off different coaches. Um, and I think, yeah, obviously first time he's dealing with the man management side and I, yeah, I mean, didn't do anything wrong tonight. <laughs> Got to be happy with the, that kind of debut. Did you guys do anything to, to celebrate anything for him? Um, him afterwards no, nothing. No, nothing really to, to note it. But yeah, obviously we're all happy for him. And but I think with what we have here and now Eric here as well, it's I think wins at home is kind of what we can expect. Um, and it's not going to be an out of the ordinary celebration. I think it's. I would like for us to think that that, that should be business as usual at, at Allianz. In that defensive block, mm -hmm. how would you describe uh, the role of the central midfield different than last year um, defensively? I think because we, I think just because we keep them so compact, you're not expecting Will and Hassani. Obviously, we switched to two sixes tonight, uh, but you're not expecting Will and Hassani to to cover. I think we got too stretched at times, and that kind of made it difficult for them to to cover all the ground. Um, so when they are compact, it's Balls that may be getting played by them, but they can turn and put in a tackle. And I think you saw tonight when balls were being played, and kind of you get it, someone would get a toe in or be a loose touch, and one of them would be right on their toes to, to pick up the pieces. Um, so I think, yeah, in these first, was it three, four games we've had that's kind of been a, um, a key signature of, of what we've done, just keeping everybody compact and, and near the ball.